This morning in the kitchen, we are cooking with Chef Brian Halloran, making a Rhode Island and New England favorite, really, chowder. How does it we love better? our chowder. All right, now you are an award-winning chef, so tell us, Thank what was you. the award? Uh, five years running in Boston, Massachusetts. I got Boston Magazine's uh, Best of Chowder Award, and uh, All it's, right. uh, it's a real easy recipe. It's uh, indigenous to Newport, and I'll tell you how to make it. Excellent. Yeah, we're making two chowders today. Is that right? right? Tell us yeah. about them and, and the ingredients that goes behind each one. Well, the first one is a clear chowder. Being that time of year, I thought it would be good if we had something a little bit less creamy and buttery. Um, Smart thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next one is going to be the Newport style, which uh, you see a lot of butter and dill, which is only found in the Newport region. There's all sorts of different chowders okay. up and down the, ca the coast. So we'll try two of them today. And what are some of the things besides the the dill and the, and the cream sure. that you mentioned? Sure. Well, the real star of the show, excuse me, Michaela. No, go ahead. Yeah is the Rhode Island Quahog. So we're going to be opening those, chopping them up, and putting yeah. them into the chowder. These are huge. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Careful, they bite. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the, like any chowder, it's potatoes, onions, mm -hmm. either bacon, fat, or salt pork. Okay. Um, in this case, we're going to, in the clear chowder, we're going to use a little bit of bacon, then we'll drain off the fat. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be onions, potatoes, a little bit of celery, wow. the clear broth, and of course the clams that will get chopped mm. up and placed inside the chowder. Can't wait. For the Newport one, of course, we're going to be having cream. Yep. And, some and that dill that you mentioned. Dill. Yeah, nice fresh flavors to it. Good Just a to touch keep of salt and pepper. And there you go. Real easy ingredients. Right. It'll be on the website, so you can take a look at the uh, in Fabulous. ingredient list. Fabulous. Took the words right out of my mouth. It'll be on the website. We're going to start cooking things up in just a bit. Back to you. Okay, we are back in the kitchen with Brian Holleran. Newport chowder is what we're making in sure. clear chowder. And it all starts with uh, a quahog. Right. So let's uh, start with opening the quahog. Okay. A little tip to you all out there is you take a quahog knife, place a clean, heavy towel in between your hand and the quahog, and you want to insert the blade of the knife into the quahog, run the, the knife over the top of the quahog, collecting the juice in a small sieve that then in turn goes into a bowl. That juice is going to be used really nicely in the back of the chowder. And, and now when you're you scraping it out, you just got to make sure you get everything everything out of the, out of it. Right, right. Okay. that meat you've worked really hard for, so you want to get out the all of it okay. like that. And getting quahogs in Rhode Island is just a matter of going down to a, a flat that's nice and clean and digging with your the heel of your feet or getting a rake and pulling. You know up. what? I've done this during the summertime. It's easy to do. If I can do it, anyone can yeah. do it. And I love going out. It's it's actually relaxing when you go out. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. Well, how about the fruit of your labor then? <laughs> okay. Grab this little guy here. So we got here. Yeah. Okay, and put the curl of the shell away from you. So okay. It's so it's going to be like that. Like there this. you go. Okay. All yeah, right. So I'm just going to insert the knife. You have to use a little muscle. Okay. That's it. Gonna Good. Insert it like you this. Got it. Yeah. Crack and it open. Let that juice run down into the bowl. Okay. That's where all the flavor there we is. Go. And then just basically scoop it. You know, okay. scoop everything you out that's it. inside of it here. Well, you go hog at you. I am a professional. Yeah. If you only knew how much I love this. <laughs> and what we're going to do with that is then take the quahog meat, we're going to dice it up into small bite-sized pieces, and then place it in with some uh, other ingredients, and okay. we'll form a nice chowder. Okay. So and it smells, it smells great in here. It smells like the ocean, doesn't it? Does it does smell like the ocean. Yeah. It's like summertime all over again, all but the right. weather's been so nice. This is perfect. I think we're on to something here. Yeah, this here. is perfect. All right, so we are going to keep on cooking here, and we will go back to you in just uh, right now. In the road show kitchen this morning, cooking with award-winning chef Brian Halloran, making two chowders. Mm -hmm. Two. That's why Will and I both that's in right, here. We're each going to make one. Okay. So, chef, let's start with Will's. All right, Will is going to make a traditional clear chowder. Okay. It's uh, more indigenous to the South Coast. Yep. So we'll start. Uh, we've already rendered down some uh, bacon with some onions and celery. Everything's mm. better with yeah. bacon. Yeah. So let's add some of those quahogs okay. that you shucked earlier. So now do you want me to put the whole thing in? That's right. Okay. Yep. Throw them all in there, Will. Well. Yeah. Give it a good stir. Okay, we'll put that in. And then a nice cup of the... The broth there? The broth. Okay. Perfect. Now, this, this is the broth that came from the... Uh, yes, from, from the cold right, that the, you shot. Nice and fresh. Nice right. and fresh. There we go. We'll and toss that in. Kayla, you've got some potatoes right over I there do. in that thing okay. there. If you could add those to Will's chowder, Thank please. you, my lovely assistant. Oh, uh, anytime. <laughs> all right. Should now, we we'll let that simmer for a second. We'll okay. go over to Michaela and okay. watch how she makes the chowder. Ooh. All right. We've done a there little bit of... Uh, Pre-prep mm. here. Ooh, bake, it already uh, smells good. Bacon here. We've got a little bit of onion, nice. and we're going to add to that okay. the potatoes, yep. cream, 
Clams and dill. Okay. Potatoes, cream, clams, it's all going in there. Tossing it all together. It's party so in a bowl. guys. You know, it's not a big meal. You can use it for And the dill, said, right? All of it? Sure. Okay. Yeah. And that dill is going to float right on top of it. I that. love dill. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Now, Chef, yeah. I know a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of different ways to make chowder, a lot of different Absolutely. kinds of chowder. Absolutely, especially here in Rhode Island. How do you decide what goes into yours? Um, but I just know that the flavors marry quite well between a clam and a dill and the creams. Right. They all taste great. Nice. Uh, but there's so many it? different renditions of it. You can make salt pork with it. You can use tomato based in it. Um, and, like, we've got over here a little bit of... Uh, the bacon that's chopped up. Okay. Oh, there. there you go. Great job. And at, uh, at family events, are you the guy who always brings the uh, who always brings the chowder all the time? Mm, you you are the guy, I'm, right? Yeah. yeah, you're the guy. We got it. <laughs> you're the guy. So, okay. At least I don't have to do the dishes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. that is a plus. Yeah. Okay, so right. I'm yeah. gonna keep this is still uh, this is still yeah. cooking away over here. Yeah, yeah and, and how long do you cook these for? Now that everything the, is incorporated. Great question. What happens is the potatoes have to get tender, so that's usually about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. okay. Um, and you let it simmer just a little bit, and you don't want the the clams to overcook too much because they get a little rubbery. Right. Issue. No one likes we that. Don't, we no don't one likes that. a rubbery clam. We don't want that. Nah. <laughs> so, great. All right, we're going to let yeah. these simmer, but I'd like you to taste these things first. The magic All right, of here we go. You've this already prepared two reveal. of them for us. Okay, uh -huh. so okay. Will's was I'm going to try the clear. The there clear, we go. Okay. classic Rhode Island chowder, oh, if okay. you will. How you chowder, Will? Mine okay. is the... Uh, yeah. And that's the creamy Ooh, I have the creamier one. Style. Look at that. All right. It looks good. The I mean, chunks look at the clam in there. I'm going to take a big, I'm big spoonful of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. Get ready. Mm. Okay. Down it goes. Mmm. Oh, oh good? wow. You're at the beach. I'm taking mm. another one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go for I mean, that okay, now. And you can shot. see this is oh, nice and good. clear. Okay. And these it's are great these flavor. These are just great. You know, Rhode Island staples. Lunch. All dinner. year round, too. I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, you could warm up. You know what? A cup of chowder, also have uh -huh. it in a summertime day. Oh, in the middle of a hot, hot summer afternoon. Anytime, it it's all year round. It tastes like going to the beach. I think you, uh, I think you won me over. We've got it. Yeah, he <laughs> is an award <laughs> winning. Yeah, really award is. winning. Now that's you're really hoping good. for uh, uh, six years mm -hmm. in a row now, Chef. That's right. That's what you're hoping for. Boston Magazine, best of five. And how do you prepare for that? Uh, we use the Newport Dill style. Okay. Oh, is that the one you use for that? Okay. Yes. Okay. This is this is the winner. Oh, I'm yeah. the winner. All right. Keeping this one to myself. What do you think, what do you think, is, the, what do you think is the most popular one? Out of, you know, I mean, for here in New I'm England. partial to this one, of course. You okay. Know, it's uh, just because it's redolent of uh, different chowders throughout the Northeast. The yeah. clear chowder is definitely a uh, Rhode Island um, addition to And the, you're sticking the away with, from the red chowder. That's what I was going to say. Where <laughs> is the red chowder? <laughs> Where is missing? You yeah. know, the red chowder dates back about, oh, 90 years. And you wow. see that in some of the old clam clubs. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but a clear chowder, you can actually go up and down the South Coast and find a few places will have a red chowder, but a creamy chowder, it's all over New England. And, and, and i got to mm -hmm. say, I, I've tried clam chowder right. in other states, in other places. Okay. They try, all right, mm -hmm. but no one gets it right except for you know can Rhode Island and and the the Northeast for sure. Can we switch? That's yeah, I'm gonna get of course right. we can. You, you got that one. Okay, I'm gonna that switch. One. I'm gonna try this one, the right. clear broth and right. the bacon in here. Right. We don't really make a lot of cl uh, clam chowder with bacon, no, but I like it. One of the ingredients that you're missing here is the the, the cracker. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, you mm. use, uh, why are we dipping? A uh, Clam cake goes great. I'm gonna break this up. Show you how to put it in those. There. there you go. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm just gonna chowder. get. Okay. I'm just gonna dip and get some clam mm -hmm. on the cracker. I can tell you, everybody's oh, yeah. very proud of me for having this. Yeah. <laughs> this look. It is. It's really good. Oh, we gotta get more seafood into here. It's healthy. Okay. It's I good love stuff. it. All right. Very good. My okay. mouth is full. Will you? Okay. You do it. All right. Thank uh, you. <laughs> for the recipe, the award-winning recipe, you can head over to our website thank at wpri.com.